Hi there, welcome to Producing Digital News. This is Advanced Photoshop where today we'll be looking at um, creating banners and headlines over photo we go, and we're going to do it in layers. So first of all we're going to get um, a photo that we can recruit just from our desktop. So here we have um, an incident that happened in the game last night. Uh, John, Joel Selwood and Jared Ruffhead of Hawthorne. So this incident is contentious and it will be looked at the AFL Tribunal this week. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to program um, our measurements here in pixels. So we're going to say, say, 316 pixels um, across and down the page, we're going to go, say, 421 and we'll get a nice new shape. Now, um, I want to get the grass in the bottom because I reckon it looks really good for a banner. I'm going to put a banner in there. So, I'm going to cut, cut off Selwood's head a little bit. That's the matter. It's not a really big, important part of the picture. Um, just going to go back there again. And just, um, just want to move. Bear with me for a sec, sorry. Um, want to move that just so we can get Joel's head. It's not too severe, the cut. So, there's a little bit of grass there. And then I'm going to just do a standard crop. All right. Uh, the first thing we have to do is go to view and make sure we're at 100%. So we got that's the correct size that will appear on the website. Okay. So um, the next the next step is I want to create um, sort of a see through banner down the bottom so we can write a really good headline. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another new layer, and I'm just going to call this layer banner banner one and press OK. So I'm actually going to go to um, this tool here all right, and select this area here where I can um, have an overlay. All right. Then I'm going to right click here and um, go to um, Fill and then have an overlay there and make it black, okay, um, and then press OK there. All right, so that layer is here. Now I'm going to go into here and see if I can fix that. So I'm just going to make that black, the um, banner. Bear with me for a sec. Uh, I'm just going to make that a solid colour in black. Okay, so I've made that banner a solid colour there, as you can see there. But um, I want to make it a little bit see-through so you can see the grass. So um, we're just going to change that. We're going to go to blending options here. All right, and um, we're just going to change the opacity. So you can make it to zero opacity. But this just um, highlights the banner. So I've got a little bit um, of see-through, of a see-through banner there, and really quite happy. You can, you can change all this. Um, got this underlying layer there, but pretty happy with what I've got there. So I'm just going to press OK. All right, now I just need a text headline, so I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to just click on that layer, go to the text tool over here, and I'm going to go Selwood in Strife. Right, it's in black, so let's just change that to white. Okay, and get the move tool and just make sure we've got it in the right position. We're pretty happy with that position. So um, just correct the spelling there, which is not a problem. And there you have. Now, if you want to have a bit of background in colour on the words, you can go to FX here and get a little bit of drop shadow happening. Right, and then I've just got a bit of delicate drop shadow, so you can make it, you can make it really pronounced like that, as you can see. All right, I mean, I'm, I'm going to bring it right in, so it's a pretty big spread there. Still like that little green tinge at the back of the banner, so I'm just going to make that very big. Um, and just maybe change the angle so it just drops down a little bit. You can see that the angle is up. Let's bring it down. 
a little bit to the side. I'm just going to close that distance in, the spread. And then just get a discreet kind of, just bring it in a little bit more. Um, just make sure the angle's quite subtle. That's a lot better. So you can see there that I've got a little bit of um, drop shadow there and it just makes it stand out a little bit more. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So what you do, um, just going to crop and save as a, a Photoshop document. I'm just going to call that Ruffy 2012 and have it for the desktop. Press OK and then use it for save for web. All right, you can see that the quality is there. You can change this this setting um, to two like that or optimize just to make sure you're happy with that and press save and make sure it's a JPEG there and save it for your web, web top. Now you can um, go into this little circle part which um, adjusts the quality of your photo so you can you can change it um, whenever you like so you can go into like levels right and change the darkness and brightness of the photo pretty happy with that so I'm just going to return that to the side um, you can look at uh, curves alright so let's have a look at that All right, and that does a similar type of thing um, I tend not to like to, I don't like to manipulate the photo too much because I think it can get worse so um, go into history Uh, just go back a little bit and just crop that and I'm really happy with that so that just gives an example if I save it for the web it will look like that and voila that's how you do layers um, if you've got any questions please let me know cheers